In this lesson, we'll learn how to edit the pressure, size, and intensity of specific parts of the strokes we apply to our vector curves. All right, great. So this is the Lesson 9 Begin file. If you want to follow along, feel free to open this up from your project files. So um, in this particular file, we've got a, just a simple vector layer here that has some gradient fills on some of these empty areas. So uh, we're going to focus, though, on the strokes that have been applied to the paths here. So uh, let's come down here and look at the bottom of the shoe. So in this particular instance, uh, if I select this particular stroke with my Select Vector Curve tool, um, you can see here that it was created using the pen brush, uh, using this particular size and this particular intensity. Now when it comes to kind of customizing these, we can do this here inside the Attribute Editor with the curve selected. Or we can come in here and we can utilize these three tools right here. These are going to allow us to customize the way the stroke appears on the curve. Right now it should appear in a uniform fashion. It should appear um, as, as a, two, a size of 2 and an intensity of 50 along the entire length of this particular curve. Now if we wanted it to be bigger and more intense in a certain area, then these are the tools that we want to use. So uh, let's go ahead and just deselect our curve for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and select Let's select this middle one first. This one is the Edit Size tool right there. Now inside the Attribute Editor we've got options here. First thing we need to choose is do we want to increase the size of the stroke or do we want to decrease the size of the stroke? Now this does work based on a brush, so that's why you see this round cursor preview. Now just like with the other brushes, we can increase and decrease the size either in the Attribute Editor or by holding down the B key on our keyboard and dragging to the right and the left. So we'll just decrease the size of that some. And we can also hold down the I key to increase and decrease the intensity. So uh, we may actually want to decrease the intensity, but uh, we have a couple of other buttons down here. The one on the left is Edit Mode. That's how we edit the strokes that we have targeted. Now the other one is Select Mode. So if we want to come in here and say maybe add a bigger, thicker stroke on some of this particular path, we could mark Select Mode and just draw a little selection, and that's going to target that. And then we'll jump over into Edit Mode, and we can begin to increase the size of this stroke. So uh, I'm going to come in here, I'll just kind of zoom in, and I'm going to lightly brush at this stroke. And I want to increase the size rather slowly. You can kind of see how it's starting to get thicker right up there, kind of where that crevice is. So now if we wanted to, we can maybe come over here and do the same thing with this particular stroke. We can come in and begin to edit that and increase the size of that. Now the whole reason we're doing this is to kind of simulate a shadow underneath the shoe. Now you may notice that there's not quite as much intensity here. Uh, that means the stroke itself is somewhat transparent. Now this is not the intensity slider that will control that. That's controlling the brush that we're modifying our stroke with. Now if we wanted to adjust the intensity in those areas, we'd need to come over here and utilize this third tool. If I click on that, that is to edit the intensity, and it's going to work the exact same way. We'll just shrink that brush down a little bit. And we want to, actually, let me just do, uh, select that again. Let's come in and target that particular stroke again. And we want it to be more intense, not less. So we'll come in and use this same brush. Make sure we're in edit mode here. And we'll start to increase the intensity, darkening up that stroke, just like so. Now, we're not darkening it down here. We're just darkening it up here. We can come over and do the same thing to this particular stroke. So you can kind of see how we have increased the size, and we've also increased the intensity of these two different, uh, these, the strokes that have been applied to these two different curves underneath the shoe. Now we've done size and intensity, we can also do pressure. Now pressure is something, again, if we remember, based on an earlier lesson, when we draw our own curves here. Light pressure gives us kind of a light stroke. 
heavy pressure is going to give us a heavy stroke here. So uh, let's go ahead and delete that. Jump over here and select our first one. And maybe we want the pressure to be a little bit harder over here. So I'm going to select both of these two different segments, this one here and this one here. Just drag over both of them. Jump back over into edit mode. And let's go ahead and darken up. Actually, we want to make sure that we are on pressure. Yes, we are. We'll go ahead and darken this one up. We'll decrease the size, leave the intensity as it is right now. And we'll just kind of run that over it. And you can see how that's starting to really darken that up with a heavier pressure. And we, we may actually want to go even bigger on the size over here. Now, again, it dep all depends on kind of the way you want to utilize the stroke. So uh, if we kind of zoom out on that, that's starting to look a little bit deeper and darker down there in the center. Now keep in mind that we do have all of the functionality of the attribute editor just with a stroke selected. So um, maybe up here for, let's say, the stroke on this, we'll just select that. Right now you can see that it is currently black, and uh, a black stroke on an orange shape like that is probably not what we would think of uh, in that place. Now we could come in and hide the stroke altogether, just simply by unchecking that box, and that stroke will go away. But in reality, if that's sort of a, a extruded surface off of the shoe, then we're probably going to see kind of a top face to that. So maybe we could make our stroke a little bit thicker here. And maybe a different color. Let's maybe come in and make it sort of a lighter orange. And a bit more intense. Maybe something like that. Now again with this, we might want to come in and sort of uh, decrease the intensity some in the corners here so that we're not seeing as vivid as an orange. So again, we could come in and utilize this third tool here. Selection mode, come in and select and decrease the intensity this time. Jump back to edit and just kind of slowly brush that intensity back over here in the corners. And when we're done, let's just go ahead and hit the V key and deselect that. And now we have a little bit of a rim type highlight on the top edge of that shape. So um, in this lesson, we've learned how we can utilize the edit pressure, edit size, and edit intensity tools to customize the way a stroke is applied along one of the curves that we've created. So uh, in the next lesson, let's go ahead and move on. And, you know, we've spent a lot of time working on vectors here, but let's take a look in the next lesson about how we can use vectors with our pixel-based brushes as sort of a guide.